If you look to the problems uh, that uh, many of our citizens are faced with, they are automatically and in many instances uh, related to the nexus between security and environmental problems. We bring all the people together here who are involved in this, from scientists to activists to NGOs to people who move from the problem of fragility and the destruction of the environment to, for instance, refugee flows, migration, the problems of security in cities. And I think it's important that we put this as a priority on our actions uh, and to have a good uh, international conference preparing this. Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, you know, 10 years ago when I traveled to Yemen, everybody realized that a country with dwindling resources, with a very harsh climate and high fertility rates, would be a prescription for disaster. And it is what happened. When you were talking about the desertification in the Sahel, the enormous problems that that would uh, give for the pastoralists, who then would have scarcity of water and would take the water from the farmers, you could have seen that it would lead to conflict. When you were in Syria, we know that climate change has led to the enormous movement of people to cities in a very short period of time. These are all catalysts for conflict, for migration and for risk. So we are 10 years overdue and we hope we are not overdue right now. We have to put this as a priority for our international action. You know, a conference is only useful if it leads to action. And for action, you need good analysis, but interdisciplinary analysis of people from the science, from environmental community, also from the private sector, the business sector, the uh, NGOs. If they can move together and use their individual analyses to come to action to prevent these kind of disasters, then we need to do this every year.